New tonight, Bradenton ranks as one of the most dangerous cities in the country for drivers. And now the police department is stepping up, trying to change that. Officers are going to increase patrols to cut down on the number of deadly accidents. News Channel East John Rogers joining us now live from downtown Bradenton to explain. So you in increase patrols, are they going after more speeders, red light runners? What's, what's the deal here, John? Yeah, you name it. They're just hoping the presence can really help curb down this threat because this is one of the areas we're talking about. Typically, uh, the light just changed, but this intersection is typically very congested as people are going over to the beach. And so this deadly reputation is one that local officials want to erase. When Jennifer Glidden walks through Bradenton with her five-month-old daughter, she's extremely careful. It can be you know, tricky. Some drivers don't care and have nearly hit them. You know, if they're turning when the thing's going and, you know, I'm caught in the middle, I'm like, whoa, it's happened twice in the last week. But they're among the lucky ones. A study found Bradenton, Sarasota ranks as the 10th most dangerous region in the country for pedestrian accidents. And there's some cars that don't stop. So Bradenton police will be working overtime. Officers are increasing enforcement at four key intersections, two along Manatee Avenue, the others on US 41 and US 301. Every accident is one too many. Dave Hutchinson with the Metropolitan Planning Organization says older drivers and tourists bear a lot of the blame. So downtown Bradenton has a lot of turning movements, a lot of traffic, and it is a hot spot for congestion and for um, accidents. His team is working with FDOT to reduce the problem proposing ideas like signal enhancements, narrower lanes, and more sidewalks. But some folks say everyone bears some personal responsibility. If you pay attention, you should be able to walk across the street without getting hit by a car. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Some key tips that officials give are if you're a bicyclist, you should ride with traffic on the right side of the road. And if you're a pedestrian, you should walk against traffic on the left side of the road. Keith? Everybody needs to pay a little more attention. Help bring it down. Help police as well. Thank you. John Rogers reporting live for us tonight.